Hi, it's Sarah, also part of the community engagement team at the library. I'd like to introduce a video featuring my son Ian making an origami crane while I read poems about springtime. Now Ian developed an interest in origami when he was a young guy in middle school and he's in college now. But apparently once you've mastered the skill of origami, it's kind of like riding a bike. You just jump right back on and start folding. Spring. Spring in the world, and all things are made new. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Spring by Lee Bennett Hopkins. Roots, sprouts, buds, flowers. Always, always cloud bursting showers. Rhymes, April fools, fledglings on wings. No thing is newer or fresher than spring. Swing by Fran Haraway. It's too soon for the front porch swing. No crocuses are opening. The wind is from the north and chill. No matter, spring is here. I still am bound to sit and swing out there and feel it in the evening air. It's much too cold. The trees are lean and leafless, not a sign of green. It's foolish to sit outside. The mockingbird has testified to spring's existence, and I see that buds are on the almond tree. I'm sure it's spring. How do you know? I think a cricket told me so. Map to Spring by Rebecca Kai Dotlich. Go straight to seed, turn right on bud, around a bend to breeze until you cross over puddle. Next is hill, turn at crocus, watch for wing, follow new blossom to corner of first and spring. Spring Sun by Elizabeth Upton. I warm chilly bones of winter, melt snow banks, send ice flows gushing. I open buds on branches, stir frozen dirt, release crocus from its early bed. When I shine, fiddleheads unfurl, their green frills to spring. Children throw down their jackets, jump rope, scoot scooters and call through open air like new robins. Suddenly Green by James Hayford. So suddenly green, our whole outdoor scene. It happened so fast, we're already grass. Our trees have grown skin and birds have moved in. What strikes me this spring is the speed of the thing. White Wings by Carl Sandburg. Sitting against a big friendly tree, reading a book I love, I looked up suddenly and saw a fleeting and wheeling away in the blue spring sky, a flock of gray birds flashing white wings in the May sun. are some poems about spring. Happy Asian Pacific celebration. And doing the folding courtesy today is my son Ian, who has enjoyed origami for many years. And let's see what you made. Thank you. And here are some step-by-step -step instructions that you can freeze frame so you can make your own Japanese paper crane. The traditional Japanese paper crane or orizuru is famous throughout the world. It is a symbol of origami and a symbol of peace. An ancient Japanese legend says that whoever folds a thousand cranes shall be granted a wish.
Finally, check out the Gail Borden Public Library website. You'll find our catalog has hundreds of books about origami for you to enjoy. Thanks for joining us today for the Asian Pacific Heritage Festival. Have a great day.